Hi, I'm Adrian. It is almost 6 p.m. on a Sunday here, and welcome to the Flargan Challenge. It looks like one of our boys had a phone call, but I missed it. Oh well. Uh, let's see how our boys are. I wanted to start by showing their age. They have seven days until they grow up. And I also wanted to talk about the two brown haired Flargan. If you recall, I had complained in several episodes that. Two of the boys looked like they had brown hair or light brown hair, whereas the other boys looked like they had dark brown hair. And I checked uh, in cast and they all had the identical hair or hair color. What I didn't realize was they had different hair cuts and that is why their color was off. So three of the Flargan had a fade, which means the hair is really almost shaved off on the sides, whereas two of them did not have a fade. So that it looked like the same haircut until you looked at who had a fade and who didn't have a fade. So the two who had the fade, and I don't know if you could tell them apart, obviously I couldn't tell them apart, um, they've been corrected. So they all have that close cropped hairdo now. They It should be in order. As I was preparing a chart that I'm gonna use to demonstrate how I get to the uh, winners and, and losers of this competition, of the kids level competition, I noticed that they also, some of them have different eyebrows. So if you can tell them apart by eyebrows, God bless you, you're paying a lot more attention than I am. I can't tell, but when I transition them into teenagers, I'll make sure to pay attention to their eyebrows to make sure, again, that they are identical. But like I said, even if they're they're only 95 percent identical i still can't tell them apart although i am i am seeing their personalities evolve you know one likes singing one likes um video games those kinds of things i'm noticing about them but i still can't tell the boys apart so everything's on the level um they're all the same to me. So let's check on the boy's status. And I also want to show what their trait, personality trait is, and what their, ch their childhood phase is, because I think that's gonna be a point of interest as we go along. So this guy here playing chess with his uh, dad, Dr. Flargan, he is, oh, what's the matter? He's tense because he, is he doing homework? <gasps> Are you doing homework? Oh, you're writing in your journal. Bless your sweet baby heart. Okay. That guy is active and clingy, or he was clingy as a baby. Uh, his skills are creative. Oh, wait, let me sort them. Social and motor are fours. Creative is a two and mental is a one. So he's a four, four, two, one. That's actually kind of low. This guy, oh, is he playing the violin? Oh, this is the first Flargan to actually pick up a music instru instrument. If you remember in the last episode, uh, one of them sat at the keyboard, but he didn't actually pluck any, any, uh, play any music. So I'm so happy that this guy picked up the violin of his own accord. Good for you, sir. So he is a 5442. That's amazing. He's social creative motor and mental and he's also a perfectionist and his childhood trait was loud he likes to make a lot of noise so there you have it okay let's go on to one of the sleepy flargan he's gonna be up in the bed let me finagle a little to get up there okay oh i just can't quite get to his face but anyway this is mr sleepy flargan he is neat. He was born a picky eater. That's his childhood phase. He, his skills are a five, four, two, two. So five social, four motor, almost three creative and mental. Also almost six social. So good for him. Okay. The next guy, he's just napping here. He's not fully asleep, but did I get the right guy? I did. Okay. So this guy is a five, four, three, two, five social, four motor, three creative, two mental, and he is a bookworm and he has no, no childhood phase right now. So there. 
And the last guy is asleep in his parents' bed. Much as I try to keep this place off limits, this little guy is a green fiend. And he's got some likes and dislikes, but let's look at his skills. He is our, I think he's our top contender. He's a 5521. And he's also about to be a level six in social. He's a level five in motor. He's almost a level three in creativity and one in mental. So I believe he is the one to watch. So the way that I'm going to end childhood is to take into account their skills. I'm going to um, add up their skills and that will be uh, part of the criteria. I'm also going to look at their grades and they're all C students now, but I think the ones that have gone to, uh, have done homework where I, I, there might be two now that have done homework will bump up to a B soon. I'm going to come up with a one, two, three system where whoever has an A gets three points, whoever has a B gets two points, whoever has a C gets one point. And so there'll be a combination of their skills and their school grades, skills and school grades. And I'm also going to take scouting into account. So anyone who has earned a badge, oh, he's gotten up. Okay, anyone who has earned a badge will get a point per badge. And anyone who has been promoted, he's a griffin, he hasn't been promoted, but obviously he will be soon, uh, will get an extra point per level of promotion. So I will figure out who has the most points based on skills. Oh, he just leveled up based on education and based on scouting activity. And that is the fairest way I can come up with a system that will work. Um, I will not do that until the day before their birthday. And using those results, I will decide who stays and who goes. And one will most definitely go, but not today. What's on the agenda today? It's 11 o'clock at night, so I'm going to leave the boys to doing what they want to do. This guy wants to dance. This guy is in some distress, but he's still playing that violin. I'm so pleased with that. This guy is, wait, I thought the first guy was dancing. Okay, he's not dancing anymore. And then this guy's on the computer and he looks like he's playing SimCity, but he's having some kind of reaction. What's the matter, guy? Okay, he's feeling good. I don't, I don't know why. Meanwhile, Dr. Bob and Bo, Dr. Bob's dancing because he just had woohoo with his new wife. So yeah, that's a reason to dance. And Bo is on the computer, and I wonder if she's got um, work to do. No, she's good to go. She is good to go. He has had his breakthroughs. He's just a mediocre scientist, and that's fine with me because his primary job is to um, raise the flargan. She's a teacher, of course. Oh, this guy's about to... Yes, he just leveled up in motor. Good. Since they're up, I'm going to try to get them to check out the scout board before they get too far into their day. They are almost all up. There's only one sleeper among them. So I can reasonably get this done. I want them to collect badges. He got civic responsibility and I want them to view progress. Good job. All right, he was promoted. Well done. Okay, let's get, this guy is on the violin. So once he finishes with the violin, I'm gonna, oh, he doesn't have anything to collect. I'm going to have him grab a badge. This guy is asleep. I'm gonna cue him up, up anyway, just to be fair. No badges for him, but he can view his progress. And now he's up. This, uh-oh, I have to slow down. Good 
job. One, two, three, four badges, and a long way to go for the others, but that's okay. He could do it when he's a teenager. Aw, he's upset. Okay. Move along, little flargan. Move along. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, I, I messed up. Oh, he's got a SAT badge to collect. Good for him. Boop. There, he's going to view progress, and then I'm going to get the sleeper to come over in a minute to check his progress as well. All right, move along, kid. Well done. Oh, he got promoted to unicorn. Yay. Good. He's doing actually good. He's got some progress. He's got three complete and he's got progress on two others. And he's got four where he has zero progress on. So, you know, they're getting there. I don't think this guy ever checked his progress. Now he's doing it. Is he doing it now? Nope, he's going to dance. I respect. Okay, good. Looks like Bo is tense over money. Oh, she wants to buy new stuff. Hmm, what new stuff could she buy? What could she... What are we in need of here? Is he reading a book or is he... Yeah, he's not doing homework. Oh, is this dancing? This is some sad dancing, my friend. He's in distress? Oh, because the place is dirty. Well, yeah. Some interesting choice of music there. What's Bo doing? Something's broken? Oh dear. Okay, let's get mom on the case. I think we'll just replace it. Most of them probably had a bad prank day because I just was not focused on prank day. I don't like prank day, honestly. Okay, there we go. Oh, more stuff is broken. Jeez. I'm doing a quick inventory in case there are other things that need to be replaced around here. Okay, looks like we're good. Uh, let's get Bo cooking something. Is she level one? She is level one. Hmm. Let's get some veggie dumplings going. There. Everybody can eat that. I don't think there's a vegetarian among the bunch. I know there's a green fiend, but I don't think there are vegetarians. I think one of them is lactose intolerant. Talking about special diets. Okay. All right. Our artist is on the job. Having a great time with this painting. He's got glitter involved and everything. Good for you. And this guy's playing a game. Oh, it's snowing outside. Good. I think he's done with this. It's winter. It's snowing. Boy, I don't know if the kids have seen snow yet. Somebody's in distress. Oh, he's angry. Well, okay. You have to you have to take that energy and, and do something with it, kid. All right, Bo's a level two. Good for her. I'm going to put this in the actually over there 
Why is it empty? <gasps> what happened? Oh, it's not empty. Okay. Good. So if anybody's hungry, they can grab that right there. And this guy is angry because of the... Oh, he doesn't like the music. And this guy's uncomfortable. Not sure what's going on with him. Did he finish the tablecraft? Because we'll put those up if we can. Oh, I think he wasn't finished with it. Okay. Oh, he is done. All right, now he's going to bed. I don't know why I can't put the table, these crafts up. Oh, we can put them there. Oh, that's why. Well, I think we'd put those closer to the boys' rooms. There. There we go. A little bit of Christmas decoration for you. You know, I, I'm going to check the calendar to see when Christmas is coming. Oh, it's Dr. Bob's birthday tomorrow. And then it's Winterfest. Okay. You know what? I think Bo can make a cake for the doctor. We can have a party tomorrow. Don't go to bed yet, Bo. Make a cake. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, you poor guy. He doesn't like the loud noises. It makes him edgy. I'm sorry. All right, here is our birthday cake, which, ew, looks nasty. Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. This is your birthday. That's a nasty looking cake. I know, you gotta go to the bathroom. Why can I not add candles? Oh, what fresh hell is this? I mean, I know it's an ugly cake. Oh, it looks moldy and disgusting. Okay, well, maybe we can't because it's a nasty looking cake. I don't know. I don't know. People are still going to eat it. Hold on. Let me open this up and see if there's a cake in here already. Yes? No? Oh. There's not. There's a lot of stuff in here, but cake is not one of them. Oh, this has to go in the trash. Somebody's got to clean out the fridge. Oh, the boys are off to school. And Bo should be off to school too. Yeah, she's gone. I wish they had coats on, but that's okay. Oh, look at them. They're all dressed up. Okay, Bob. I think, and I'm just guessing here, I think you have to make your own birthday cake. Let us see. Is he any? Oh, he's like a seven. Hell yeah. We're about to make a nice birthday cake. Blue confetti cake. All right. Is this Bo? Yeah, it is. During class, Bo can see that the students are not wrapping their heads around a tough subject, causing them to grow frustrated. The standard method for teaching this subject seems ineffective, but Bo recalls reading about a controversial new teaching method that just might do the trick. I think try the controversial method. You never know. Okay, Doc. We need you to help us out of this birthday bind. Mm -hmm. All right, Bo earned a fame point. What's the matter, Doc Florgan? Oh, he's got a lot of needs. Oy. All right, make this cake and I will make your needs go away.
<gasps> she got fired? What? Oh, no. Ah, oh, she got fired. Oh, forget you people. Ah, oh, his cake looks terrible, too. Ah, oh, look at this. I cannot keep making birthday cakes. I know you gotta go to bed. Oh, oh, I quit. No birthday for you, Bob. Ew, this cake is nasty. He's like, I just gotta pee, yo. All right, put the cake, uh, this nasty cake. Good. Bob, I really expected better of you, but go to the bathroom. And then go to the shower. Ah, Boga fired. She is asleep on a bench. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to see if I can't get her right back into teaching. I don't care. Maybe now uh -huh. she'll teach college level. That'll show them. Okay, let's see if she can be a college professor. Wait, is that how you do it? Yep, that's what we're doing. Oh, she has to start all over again. Mm. Oh, poor girl. Yes. Tutor that student. Okay, Bob did not have to... Oh, Bob's putting on a little bit of pounds there. Uh, he's got to go to work in two minutes. Send him alone. This house is a little falling apart. Okay, now it's just us and Bo. Who's very tired. I'm, I want to leave her there. But I also want her to get a good night's sleep. Whoa! Oh. Hope the uh, maid doesn't mess with our nasty looking cake there. Let's get Bo to bed. And I think this is a good place to leave this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please come on back for another episode. If you really enjoyed today's episode, give it a, a thumbs up. If you love today's episode, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.